All right, this is going to be a discharge test, but first we're going to top off the battery charge level. It's going to use the cigarette lighter adapter, which I configured the battery pack by doing the reset procedure, page five of the user manual last night. And we're going to have a 3157 bulb, incandescent uh, bulb, as the load to be a somewhat stable load rather than a varying load that dash cameras tend to provide a varying load depending on what their operations are, like file loop management and recording or transit. There seems to always be some fluctuation where the bulb should be more consistent. And it consumes 0.6 to 0.625 amps. And we're going to use that as a gauge to see how much the state of capacity is going to actually be available for the 70 by battery pack. So we're going to initiate a charge of 14.2 uh, volts up to 10 amps. It should get limited under six based on cigarette lighter adapter configuration. And I'm then going to turn off the power, which you'll be seeing the VCC out to the bulb. And the ACC is not used by the bulb, but I'm monitoring the voltage on that, on that circuit as well. Again, these are the out values to the load. So let's go ahead and start things. And even with it off, there's a very slight uh, 2 milliamp value there. That's interesting. Let's turn it on. And the 0.65 amount is the load of the bulb at this point because it hasn't started charging yet. So we're at 0.655. For the amp load according to the DC power supply, because that's passed through based on my testing. And now we're beginning to charge. And we should ramp up a bit and then start going down once it realizes it's at a 100% charge. Now the fourth LED, uh, the 75 to 100% range one is blinking, so it is charging, but it's now decreasing the amp draw showing that it is finalizing the 100% charge of the battery pack. And notice while under charge, the ACC out is 14.05 volts, and the VCC out is 14.17. There's always a 0.15 to 0.20 volt difference between them. These are Fluke 117 multimeters, which are very accurate. Uh, based on my testing, I now have a second one to monitor the second circuit, so a common Framework is being used for both circuits. And now we've achieved what looks to be a full charge. The LEDs on the 70 by battery pack are not blinking anymore, so all four are steady. The pass-through load of 0.65 amps for the bulb is there. And I'm going to leave it for just a little bit more, and you can observe that nothing is causing the battery pack to be flash charged or sporadically charged to maintain it right now because that pass-through load uh, appears to be passed on to the DC power supply or the vehicle if it were installed in the vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the output, which is what would happen in a cigarette lighter adapter situation. So I'm going to turn that off and then we're going to collect the video with the security camera to observe when the load drains the 70 my battery pack down to a completely turned off level. And I want to see if the weird charge state happens again in the cigarette lighter adapter mode where it only went to four volts when I turned down the power to it because I had let the battery pack deplete its charge. I left it in an on state for about a day or two, day and a half in that state. And then when I turned it on, it wouldn't start fully charging until I remove the load from the VCC out. But we'll see what happens this time. So let's go ahead and turn off the output. And there is the unusual or unexpected ACC out voltage. Again, nothing from the bulb is connected to that. It is 
uh, doing that at a negative 0 0.1718 volts or 17 millivolts. Um, when I had the factory supplied cable, it was actually at a negative 0 0.61, so the cable change did make a difference. So with this cable that I created using the MR30 connectors and a 16 wire gauge wire for each of the three wires, it reduced it or back less negative to zero point, negative 0 0.17 on average. So we're gonna see how long it takes to deplete the charge. And we'll be monitoring the voltages as we do that. And for all intents and purposes, I can turn off the DC power supply because the cigarette lighter adapter has no power to it. The LED is off. So I could actually just turn this off at this point. So we're at uh, Friday, October 11th at 1413 in the afternoon Pacific Daylight Time. Let's see how long it lasts. Mm -hmm.